And new at six, emerging information regarding the accused killer's possible ties to an extreme, extremist group here in the U.S. With more on that, we go to Action News 8 reporter Felix Cortez, who is live outside the Monterey County Jail where Carrillo is being held tonight. And Aaron, there's evidence that the accused gunman sympathizes with a violent pro-gun anti-police group. The man charged with murdering Sergeant Damon Gutswiller may be a far-right anti-government sympathizer for a group known as Boogaloo. We are going to be looking into uh, his connections, if any, to other groups. And we're going to be uh, looking into uh, his background. The evidence that Air Force Sergeant Stephen Carrillo may be tied to the pro-gun anti-police group was scrawled in the defendant's own blood on the hood of this car shortly before he was arrested. Carrillo allegedly wrote Boog, short for Boogaloo, along with the phrase, I became unreasonable, the quote often used by Boogaloo members who fantasize of a second American civil war. Carrillo's defense attorney. Jeffrey Stoddard. I have no independent information that confirms any of those things. The Boogaloo Group is alleged to have carried out or planned attacks under the ruse of George Floyd and Black Lives Matter protests. Last month, three men alleged to be Boogaloo sympathizers were arrested in Las Vegas before they could cause destruction. The same day a federal agent was murdered during a protest in Oakland, the FBI has confirmed they are looking at Carrillo in connection to that murder. This individual, from my perspective, carried out an act of domestic terrorism. He has an ideology. It looks like to be an anti-government ideology. When Carrillo was arrested, he had an arsenal of weapons and bomb-making devices, which he's alleged to have used when he ambushed officers in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Carrillo's been charged with murder and attempted murder. Some believe domestic terrorism should be among the charges. The law, unfortunately, as it's constructed in, in the United States, doesn't allow or afford law enforcement to consider individuals linked to groups like the Boogaloo movement as terrorists. And I know there are a number of bills in Congress that are trying to essentially change that. Now, of course, the uh, case against Stephen Carrillo remains a very active investigation that also includes the FBI. More charges could be forthcoming against Carrillo, who continues to remain housed here at the Monterey County Jail. Reporting from Salinas, I'm Felix Cortez, KSBW, Action News 8.